Squad, it's Quads, and welcome back to another review video. Today we are taking a look at something that could potentially change how I fly every single day. We are looking at the Jumper T15. As many of you will know from the clips I've put out there and the conversations that I've had with people who have asked for help and advice, my daily driver is a Radio Master Boxer with AG01 gimbals. Yes, that did nearly burn my house down a few weeks ago. I also have a TX16S for flying wings and when I don't need something as portable as a boxer, but 99 times out of 100, I will always pick up the boxer. It's the perfect size for somebody with the hands I have and the gimbals are obviously beautiful. I've always had one complaint about the boxer though. Coming from the TX16S with its gorgeous touchscreen color display to the boxer with its tiny non-touchscreen non-color display has always been a bone of contention of mine and it's something i've put up with purely because the form factor has been perfect for me and then jumper released the t15 which is virtually identical in size to the boxer except we have a color touch screen and if it was as simple as that this review would end there and I would have a new daily driver radio. But unfortunately, it isn't. So let's begin. First of all, let's take a look at the spec of the Jumper T15. So the Jumper T15 is the flagship of Jumper's radio. Now, I'm going to deal with the elephant in the room before we get comments on it saying, yes, but Jumper's quality isn't very good and blah. In a time before dinosaurs existed, Jumper radios were not very good. Then some people left to create Radio Master and some people joined from Radio Master to improve Jumper. And when you open up these two radios side by side, and I didn't do it for this review, but when you open up these two radios side by side, the quality between them is near identical now. So for anybody who is still languishing onto the, yes, but Jumper used to use ribbon cables and it wasn't very good five years ago, please, we've moved on from them. Jumper have also moved on from them. To their credit. So it's available in seven colours. It's got a large touchscreen display and it uses or it comes running Edge TX. It also has an inbuilt one watt EL RS transmitter. Size wise, it's a similar size to the TBS Mambo and Radio Master Boxer. It uses metal, sorry, Hall metal CNC gimbals. It's got lots of switches, potentiometers, and all that good jazz. So let's take a look at some of the really good innovative features that Jumper have put in this radio. One of the big advantages of the Jumper T15 over virtually any other radio on the market is it includes an inbuilt internal memory as opposed to relying on SD cards. I cannot tell you the number of times I have had a radio ship with either a faulty card or six months down the line my card's gone faulty because it's one of these one gigabyte 3p absolute trash cards i've lost all my models because i'm an idiot and i don't back them up and i've had to start everything all over again this inbuilt memory should fix that problem as i say it comes in seven colors which is brilliant because until radio master released the crush after the t15 had come out it was the only radio shipping in multiple colors you can have white pink gray blue green purple and yellow. And it's even got a remote carrying handle on the back that falls away neatly. But the real star of the show here is none of that. It's not the inbuilt one watt transmitter. It's not the internal memory system. It's not the changeable buttons. It's that gorgeous color touchscreen. It's a three and a half inch, 480 by 320 pixel IPS display. And as mentioned, it is indeed touchscreen. You can use the buttons at the side or you can touch the screen because it's touch screen. Did I mention it was touch screen? It, it really is brilliant. And what I like about this in comparison to the TX16S, the, the screen on the TX16S is recessed in, whereas on here, it's not. So getting to the corners on the TX16S can be a little bit of a pain. And sometimes, because I've got quite big fingers, I actually do press the button instead of pressing the screen, whereas this, it isn't so it really genuinely does actually help. Power-wise, you can put in a 2S lithium-ion battery or you can put in two times 21700 individual cells and power this 
for several hours. It weighs about 480 grams, give or take. It's got USB-C and it does have a full-size JR external module bay as well. Well, included in the box, obviously you get the transmitter, you get a carry case, you get a USB cable, a neck strap, and this really nice gimbal protector as well. I've been using this on several flights and I think the testament is that nobody's noticed on certain flights I've been using a different radio than I would normally be using. And I think that's a real testament to how well made this this radio is. It's it's really nice to use. It fits in the hand perfectly. The touchscreen makes life so much easier. It's got great battery life. It's got an inbuilt ELRS. The switches are brilliant. It's almost a perfect radio. And that brings us to the question of should you buy it? And as with 99% of these reviews, the answer is a maybe. The cost of the Jumper T15 is around about £130 in the UK. And you are getting a lot of radio for that money. In comparison, the Radio Master Boxer Crush, and we will use the Crush version as the comparison, because that's the one that you can select the colours on, is around about £150 in the UK, depending on where you shop. And I think that's a problem for Radio Master because the standard Boxer doesn't offer as much as the standard Jumper T15. But the reason why my answer to should you buy it and will it become my daily driver is a maybe. It all comes down to one thing, and that's those AG01 gimbals. The gimbals on the T15 are not bad by any stretch of the imagination. They're nice, they're responsive, they're nice. Unfortunately, the problem that Jumper have is the AG01s are incredible. Now, where I've got a real issue here is, as an FPV pilot, do I look at my radio more or do I touch my radio more? And ultimately, the answer to that is I touch it more because I've got my goggles on, so I can only see my radio when I'm not actually flying, unless I'm flying line of sight. And that, I think, is the crux of this. Now, I did reach out to Jumper and I did have a conversation with them and the appears that the answer isn't strictly yes or no. There appears to be in the pipeline plans for them to release something very similar to the AG01 gimbals for the T, oh, sorry, for the, for the T15. And I think if that happens or when that happens, that will become my daily radio. I'm not overly bothered with the CNC switches that Radio Master offer for the Boxer and for the TX16S. But if Jumper were to release those as well, so that people could, for instance, upgrade to a T15 Max, if you like, similar to the Boxer Max, then I do think that they have an unequivocal winner on their hands in comparison to the Boxer. Because like I say, it feels just as good in the hand. It's the same size. The switches are nice. The screen's gorgeous. It's a lot easier to use in that respect. But the gimbals are just, and they're not bad, and it's really important I stress that. So if you're somebody who wants to buy it and use the stock gimbals, you won't have a problem. But if you're a pilot who already has a G01s in your Boxer or your TX16S, jump into this is difficult. And that's where ultimately I land on this. I will still be using my jumper daily. No, sorry. I will still be using my Boxer daily until jumper release something similar to the AG01 gimbals. When they do that, if anybody wants to buy a Boxer with green gimbals, give me a shout because it'll be up for sale. Because genuinely, once Jumper do that, they are clear. The quality control issues that they've had in the past all appear to be gone. They've really thought about how to put this together. I think my only other note on this, and this isn't really a complaint or an issue about the radio, but the number in series of Jumper needs to be looked at. Because generally speaking, if you go to buy a product, you're gonna buy the best one, if you can, and you'd expect the highest number to be the best one and a T20, although we've reviewed it on this channel and we quite liked it for its portable size and its ease of use and its nice OLED screen, isn't better than this. It isn't even in the same ballpark as this. So to then number this five numbers less, from a consumer point of view, just doesn't make a huge amount of sense. It doesn't take away anything from the fact that this is a genuine flagship radio from Jumper and they have closed the gap and Radio Master to within a thumb because the second those CNC gimbals, those AG01 star gimbals are out for the T15, that will become 100% recommended by without any shadow of a doubt and will become my 
daily driver. Now, if I can just ask if you believe that I have earned you subscribing to the channel today, that you can just do so down below. Leave a comment, drop a like, give it a share if you feel that I've earned it. And if I don't, if I haven't earned it, that's absolutely fine because what I'm going to keep doing is I'm going to keep putting these videos out in the hope that I can get that sub from you in the future. <laughs>